Well, would you know what to do if you witness someone going into cardiac arrest? You might know the answer is CPR, but would you know how to administer it properly? Well, a new approach introduced today by Ambulance New Brunswick recommends CPR be more hands-on than previously taught. Here's CTV's Jonathan McGinnis with more in this Live at Five house call. Hi, we're on Main Street in Moncton at Assumption Place, and there's a guy here. He's, I don't think he's breathing. It's a situation not many of us will ever encounter, but one we should still be prepared for. The earlier, the faster you get on the chest, hard, fast, deep compressions. That is what is saving lives these days. Ambulance New Brunswick put on this demonstration today to show the public the preferred method of CPR. They say that mouth to mouth component is no longer necessary. But it's easier than ever to do CPR with compression only CPR. It's hands only CPR, which essentially means that your hands become their heart and people can make a difference and can save lives. Okay, the paramedics are here. Thank you so much. If you encounter someone in cardiac arrest, the protocol now is to try to perform 100 chest compressions per minute until help arrives. The message to the public is that compression CPR is much easier to do and it may in fact encourage bystanders to help someone in distress. Well, someone in cardiac arrest has four times greater odds of survival if someone initiates hands-only CPR. If you add a defibrillator into that mix, then survival rate can be as high as 75 percent. Can you feel of your hand in the center of his chest? Members of the public who watch today's demonstration say they'll employ the new method of CPR if faced with a life or death situation. If you don't need to do mouth to mouth, uh, and if it works without doing it, I don't see a problem, yeah. The numbers speak for themselves. Without CPR and defibrillation, less than 5% of cardiac arrest victims outside of hospitals survive, meaning the consequences of doing nothing could be a fatal decision. Jonathan McGinnis, CTV News, Moncton. Thank you, Jonathan. And today's life-saving demonstration in Moncton coincides with National EMS Week, so it's a great time to get the word out about compression-only CPR. Well, coming up next,